Hello everyone. Sorry it's been a while. Um, didn't have internet. I went uh, to go visit some family members and so. But um, I did promise that I would uh, uh, get a video out. So here it goes. Um, this video is a controversial video considering it talks about the southern flag. Or the rebel flag, as most people call it. Now, the reason why I'm planning on putting this out here is everybody says that they should ban this Confederate flag because it, it uh, advocates uh, racism and, um, and hate and whatnot. And I want to make it very clear to everyone uh, that the there's both sides of the story on this matter. You got one side which say that it advocates hate and anger and hatred and all that crap and racism but then you got this other side that says that you that uh, the confederate flag or the rebel flag is actually a um, um, heritage flag uh, representing their heritage their way of their used to be way of life back in the day so um, you've got two sides of two sets of the story and first I'm going to look at um, the people who say that it's about heritage. For them, I have to say, applause. Now, as a neutral standpoint, I have to look at both sides of the story. But on my opinion, I have to applause them. Because first of all, the rebel flag, as most people call it, is not a rebel flag, it's the Confederate flag. And the Confederate flag was a symbol of not just heritage back in the day, but it was also about states' rights and the freedoms that their states could uh, choose. And um, it's very unique because the Confederate flag is the same concept with the American flag. The Confederate flag had um, you know the stars the stripes same thing as the American flag and they represented the same things uh, so it's very unique and interesting on that matter uh, for the heritage and all that I would have to applause them for that because it was never meant for hatred or racism at least that's on their their opinion they believe that to be very true and I've seen on YouTube that uh, these um, um, African Americans were, uh, I'm, I'm trying not to um, uh, get myself ranted and raved at, but I was taught to always call them either Negroes or black people. That's just me, and I'm just, um, you know, letting you know that that's how I was brought up. I was never allowed to say the N word nor anything else but I was allowed to say Negro or 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 black friend or black person or so on and so forth but in this concept I will be using African American so that way that I don't get ranted and raved at myself um, but the African Americans nowadays in the South even state that the rebel flag or Confederate flag is a symbol of their heritage even the black even the American African Americans believe this to be true but you also have two sides of the American uh, blacks um, you have one side that says you shouldn't stand for that it wasn't about heritage it was about racist but then you have the other side you shouldn't stand for that it was about heritage not racism so you have a conflict going on here well, let me bring it to this side, the people who think that the Confederate flag is for racism, advocates hatred, and whatnot. As far as I know and what I have researched, the all-known favorite hate group in the United States is the KKK, a white supremacist group.
And um, this is what I got to say about this. They did not start using the uh, Confederate flag until I think the early, um, right at the start of the early 1900s. That's when they started using the Confederate flag because they realized that by using the Confederate flag, they would be able to have a lot more people hate the Confederates and, uh, sorry, sorry, not hate the Confederates, love the Confederates, love how, what, what they stood for and to advocate racism to get them to where they wanted them. Now, they didn't use the Confederate flag till then. So then to the people out there, what gives you the right to state that the Confederate flag is a racism flag when it did not start being represented as a racist flag until the early 1900s? That's my question to you. Um, as for the questions for this side, um, in my opinion, for you guys, my opinion is very strong on this. Um, I am a pro-Southerner because I believe that there were concepts of the Confederacy that was true and right. As for the Northern side, not so much. I know it's funny, but I will give you a little thing here real quick. Um, my mom named me uh, uh, one of my uh, uh, middle names is Armstrong. Yep, name me after a Yankee. Um, a, uh, uh, whatever his name was, uh, George, George Custer. It was George Armstrong Custer. Yep, she named me after that. So you know, it's kind of ironic on that matter. Anyway, putting putting that aside, you see on this side that they state that it's a historical event that this should be a heritage and not hate flag but then on this side you have to where this is a racist flag so on and so forth you should ban it well here I want to ask you guys a question would you rather ban something of a symbol than the actual thing itself because everybody deems it necessary to blame a symbol instead of blaming the actual person or persons involved throughout history it has been shown um, you have instances like the Eric Shepard challenge you have ones where they're stomping and blaming the American flag for what it stands for that's a symbol of what it stands for is what they say so they're not actually destroying the people who are um, in blame of that. Instead, they're destroying the, the concept of the American flag. So by stating about racism and about the Confederate flag, they're basically blaming the flag. They're not blaming the groups who are using the flag, which is, does not make any logical sense. It's like, for instance, um, this, Wyoming Hunter Education Graduation uh, symbol here, okay? I'm blaming this because I don't like hunting. Now, that's not true because I love hunting, but I'm blaming this because I don't like hunting. Instead of saying, going over to the, you know, actual people who advocate this and say, I blame you for making this and making everybody want to hunt. That's my problem here. Everybody blames a symbol but not blames the person. If you're gonna blame something, blame the actual accord of that person and not blaming the symbol. That's what I have a problem with. So for the people who state, and this is my neutral opinion, the people who state that uh, it is a heritage symbol, they should be left alone. They should be able to have that right to carry and use the Confederate flag. It should not be banned. But for the people who use that as a hate and aggressional uh, racism symbol, like the KKK 
or any kind of white supremacist groups should not be able to carry that. In fact, they should be banned from those people because those people advocate racism and not heritage and not the history between the Confederate States of America and America and the United States of America. So my thing to you guys is would you idly stand by and watch a symbol be destroyed or would you rather the actual person who's advocating this be condemned of his crimes whether it be racism or anything that's um, yeah it's like stating the person uh, down in South Carolina the the, the kid that uh, shot up the church uh, shot the black people in the church it's like stating that are you gonna really blame the symbol that that kid stood for or are you gonna blame the kid are you gonna charge the kid for what he did so that's my point right there it's a it's kind of a it's a concept between um, you know we state that we blame the actions of somebody first and foremost and not blaming a symbol that should stand for anything basically you know this symbol here could could uh, symbolize as a hunting group could symbolize as an educational group could symbolize as a group for antelope because it shows an antelope symbol there it also could symbolize as a Wyoming group because it says Wyoming on there a symbol can be represented as anything and it is your call whether you represent it as a racist or whether a heritage or whether something is good or whether something is bad a symbol is a statement saying that this is what it stands for not the actual action of said group so here's my thing for everybody who's watching this I don't believe that the Confederate flag of America should be banned from all southern states who wish it because it's this it's this concept between behind the Confederate States of America's flag that flag stood for states rights and stood for heritage and their history that would continue even if the war was lost it would still continue throughout history they wanted it like that but then you have it in now today's society and we believe that it shouldn't so to you guys all out there write your comments down below and really I'm asking really think about this strongly and discuss it with each other Hell, even if you don't write it down below just kind of something that's you know hey maybe he's got a point so maybe we should research it I want you guys to actually research this actually look at this I'm not saying what I just told you is spit out lies and not truth uh, in fact half of its truth I'm just saying that what is the best way to learn about something you read about it and so I inquire um, I I implore all of you to do so and once you do so really think about it is this truly a good thing to ban a symbol or to ban a group just because I'm wearing this symbol I shouldn't ban it I should blame me since I'm wearing this it's that that should make point sense so thank you guys for listening to this I know it's a long video it's 14 minutes long but here's the reason is because I had to shrink down my video in order to give you this my other video that I made before editing 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 it was an hour long so yeah I try I was going to put out two videos but I thought that just putting out one 
Bency Bency would, would, would do fine. And plus, anyway, it's past September, so I do apologize for you to you guys for, for um, long-terming it for a bit. I will try my best to continue doing this, so uh, yeah. And as a heads up to you guys also, next year we're hoping to actually, this time, uh, uh, do our um, family uh, fireworks show next year. So hopefully no one will forget the cameras so we'll be able to actually show it so that way I can put it into my videos to show you. Because here's the good thing. We're planning on putting about, give or take, 50, maybe 70 mortars, plus about 100 fountains, 100 rockets, so on and so forth. This is going to be pretty awesome. Yeah. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching again. I appreciate it. Uh, leave your comments down below if you want to talk. Do all that. I'm not going to make you subscribe. You don't have to subscribe if you don't want to. Uh... And uh, so, yeah, have a good day and God bless.